If you want to make money this year, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 business ideas that you can start from the comfort of your home that is guaranteed to generate you profits, not just revenue. You're going to make money off of this business. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Titi Layo. And on this channel, I share recipes, business ideas, and business conversations. If you are new here, please subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into today's video. Number one is the yogurt business. Drinking yogurt, Greek yogurt, yogurt parfait. All of these three things grouped together is the boss. There's a boss right now for yogurt parfait. I don't know. Maybe because there is um, people are tending towards doing the healthy living, fit farm, whatever. So they tend to get more of um, yogurt parfait. If you enter sports today and you see a fridge fully stocked with yogurt parfait in another few days it's gone so this is where you can key in there's a need for people to need for people that are switching to the healthy side to have something to snack on so instead of taking fizzy drinks or all of those drinks they end up taking yogurt drinking yogurt greek yogurt or yogurt parfait so now think about it you're going to be making money every week in short every day if you can market very well you can do this business from the comfort of your home with a capital of less than a hundred thousand naira. That is less than hundred dollars. You can start this business from the comfort of your home. You can sell in stores. You can have social media pages and sell by yourself. You can liaise with small stores and big stores around you, and you are good to go. So think about it. If you are looking for a yogurt parfait um, business idea, I have videos on my channel. If you are looking for drinking yogurt, I have a video on my channel. If you are looking for Greek yogurt, I have a video on my channel. So three different recipes, I have them on my channel. You should check it out. Uh, the second business you should be trying out is the chips business. So either plantain chips or potato chips. Either of these chips, they are always sold out. So if you enter stores, just like the example I gave earlier, if you enter stores this week and you look at the shelves for um chips in no time in a matter of few days it's gone off of those shelves i don't know there's a buzz it's not even a buzz people want to snack on something so in short if i buy um plantain chips <laughs> that plantain chips is not going to rest until i finish it best believe i'm going to finish it in no time and i'm going to go back to the store to buy another one so you should think about um, starting this business really it's very easy to start as well with less than hundred thousand you can start all you just need is for starters you get greater to be able to um, um, slice your potatoes or your um, plantain oil gas cooker to do that but you can start from your kitchen with your basic um, kitchen tools and uh, equipment you're good to go if you have food processor good to go if you do not have starts don't just procrastinate. So you can also uh, distribute um, your chips in stores. You can sell by yourself. You can package differently, like small, small packages, big packages, however you want to package it, you're good to go. Another business that you can do to make money and generate profit is drinks business. Guys, this one, I know almost everybody has fridge or freezer at home. So while your fridge or freezer is just laying down there you're just putting water or your food stuff you can start a business so what are the drinks i'm talking about i'm talking about fruity zobo drink or even if you're not making fruity zobo drink that's fine you can make regular zobo drink fruity zobo drink tiger nut drink soya milk fruit juices once you have a fridge and a freezer if you do not have fridge and freezer i do not recommend this business for you but if you have a fridge and freezer please go ahead the ingredients that you need to use are really easily accessible and to make this easy for you i have videos on my channel once again i have video for two videos on zobo drink i have tiger nut drink recipe video i have soya milk and i have different videos of fruit juices like three or four videos it should like six videos on my channel for fruit juices recipe please if you want to make money this year start this business People are going to buy. If you enter stores, big stores, small stores, you see all of these categories in their freezers. Branded beautifully and you can just, just go over to my channel. You're going to see videos that I've done 
detailing everything you would need to start this business. The next one that you can try, number four, I guess, is banana bread. Like, <laughs> you don't even need to do so much. Just get, make sure you have an oven, get bananas and other ingredients, and you're good to go. People, I don't know, there's a buzz around banana bread. So people really love banana bread. Or uh, like, they just, they're just going to buy it. Once somebody tastes it and it's really, really good, they're definitely going to refer you. Once again, I have a video on my channel for banana bread recipe. Like, I'm your YouTube bestie, making sure that you make money, money, and more money. Like, I just want to make money this year. Moving on to the fifth business that you can do from the comfort of your home are sweet treats. So, by sweet treats, I mean things like cookies, um, chocolate-covered strawberries. I mean um, brownies, blondies popsicles cake popsicles these small small stuffs are always so beautiful and they are unique you can just carve a niche for yourself and start a business like the people that would like this are not so plenty they're not so common but there are people that always look for this kind of small small cute little things so there are even different types of cookies chocolate chips cookies gingerbread cookies butter cookies and a host of all of those other things now there's brownies there's blondies they're just small cute little things people that have sweet tooth are, are definitely going to enjoy it and you have popsicles there are some events that kids events that parents would like to have popsicles that are beautifully decorated you can just have in it for yourself like i said and you start this business i have a butter cookies recipe on my channel you can check it out for brownies blondies and cookies i have a master class that you can easily buy and get access to the video right away so if you like to get that there'll be a link in the description box where you can buy it and access it right away moving on to business idea six which is cupcakes this can go in two ways you can either decide to sell them plain just supply them to stores individually and they'll be packed individually and sold out to stores or you can decide to um, decorate them beautifully. You can even have them in form of a book cake, like book cake, like something like this. Um, it's going to be like a bouquet of flower, um, decorated really beautifully, and you can have those ones sold uniquely to um, specific audience, or you can decide to sell them undecorated and sell plain packed individually and sold out to stores you can decide to sell, sell them yourself too this business is um uh, requires little capital to start you can start from your home just look for a corner to take beautiful pictures and you're good to go now let's go on to business seven which is pastries you guys you can do pastries and that's the only thing that you would be doing and you're going to become um a billionaire <laughs> like you're going to make a lot of money off of um off of this business pastries such as it depends on your locality actually meat pies chicken pie sausage roll um scotch eggs and all of these pastries just put them together and start selling with this one you just need a fast moving area if you are starting out and you do not have a lot of capital you just need a kiosk or a shade or a shop where you will be producing. You need a display stand that you are going to display on. If you are if you are within locality where there are schools or there are offices, if it's schools, um, students going to and from school would buy from you. Work environments and um, people would buy your pastries for lunch. And you can even take it a notch higher by taking it into this work environment to advertise for them. You can even decide not to get a shop, a kiosk, or a shade. You can take these, your pastries, to them. Enter banks, schools, and just be their suppliers. They don't need to come to you. You go to them and make the work easy for them. You know they are busy, right? So this is a business idea for you. Another one, which is number eight, is donuts. Like, just donuts alone. You guys, make these donuts to be very, very good. Good looking, tasting really good, and you're going to sell out. Either it is um, filled donuts, the one that you're going to fill with either jam, 
um, pastry cream, chocolate cream, different things, or glazed one, or even plain donuts. I don't know. People like donuts, and you're going to sell out. You either sell online, or you have a physical store, or you supply to stores, or you even supply to workplaces, office spaces. You guys, you're going to make a lot of money off of this business. Business number nine is cake loaves. You guys, selling cake loaves. Ah, you're going to make a lot of money because not every some people just want to indulge. They just want to have a taste of your cake. They just want to taste cake. They just want to eat cake. So it gives them an avenue to buy these cakes. They are quite affordable. It's not like a fully uh, frosted cake that is quite expensive. They are made in small loaves. You can have different sizes of these loaves. You can even decorate some. Just put a little bit of frosting. And you can even decide to separate the frosting so that you would use these patch riders instead of using cars that will now increase the price of delivery fees. You can start selling them in, in stores, distribute to stores, put your packaging, your label so that people can reach out to you. This is going to help you upsell. Like you'll be able to, if your cake stays so good, you'll be able to sell your um, high-end products. Because they know that, oh, okay, somebody that is giving us um, cake in these small containers that are this good, if I buy something worth more, this person is definitely going to deliver. You're yeah, using one stone to kill three of ten beds. <laughs> so literally using one stone to kill two beds. You're yeah, selling small, small items to introduce them to your product. And then in the end, they buy your high-end products. And you're making money. That's good. Now, business number 10 and the last one is bento cakes and cake parfait and cake slices. All these little, little ones as well. So these ones, you are taking it a notch higher by adding fillings or you are adding frosting or all of that. So people want to celebrate. They want to celebrate their birthdays, their ce any celebrations they have, but they do not have so much money and they still want a decorated cake. Introduce bento cake to them. Bento cakes are small cakes like this. These small, small ones, decorated. They have everything written on them. Introduce it to your customers and they are definitely going to buy from you. You can even sell like 10 bento cakes in a day. They are making your money. Almost in the same league as somebody that is selling one fully frosted cake in a day. Same thing as cake parfait and cake slices. This little, little um, product helps you introduce your product to people that might buy your high-end product, just like the cake loaves. I hope you take an action today. I hope all of these business ideas help you uh, make money this year because that's what we're all about here. Making money and not just making revenue, generating revenue, making profits because in, at the end of the day, you want to reinvest this money back into your business so that your business can grow. You don't just want to keep generating revenue and there's no profit. So remember to do your costing right so that you'll be able to get profit from these businesses that I've shared with you. Like I said earlier, most of these um, business ideas have shared recipes that you can use to start them on my channel. And some of them, I have them as a class that you might be interested in. If you have any questions, you can just drop your um, comment, drop them in the comment section. You already know, I'm definitely going to reply to you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new here. And if you're an OG, you know how we roll, drop your comments and then I'm going to reply. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.